Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about top 5 Linux servers which distro should you choose. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, we have Ubuntu in our list. This server edition is one of the most popular Linux distro out there. And even by chance, if you use Ubuntu distribution, then it will be a lot more easier for you to use this server. As usability is one of the major factor that this server has to offer you. But usability is not the only reason I have this one into my list with Ubuntu. You will get many features. We have LTS versions in terms of Ubuntu server as it offer you five year of support. This means you do not need to upgrade your server to the newer version of Ubuntu server. Still will have all the necessary security updates for the next five years. Other than this, we have a vast range of support available with Ubuntu server in terms of the architecture that starts from x86 to ARM64, PPC64 LE, and many more. We'll also get the access to ton of specific tool that will help us to use this server for multiple reasons. Like we get email servers, file servers, media servers, and even we have gaming servers that we can use. Canonical, which is the company who made Ubuntu, they have released Ubuntu Cloud, which you can use for your cloud-based platform. And it's a new addition in Ubuntu family. If we talk about the key features, while well, we have five year long term support, we also have Ubuntu cloud that we can use for Ubuntu based applications or platform. Then it is compatible with both FOSS and closed source applications and platforms. And then it is compatible with a wide range of architectures like x86, ARM64, PPC64 LE and many more. Number two, Fedora server. Well, Fedora is a distro that was developed by the community and it is known for delivering the cutting edge technology in open source software world. It's actually the test bed for RHEL. RHEL stands for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. All the experimental features that will be or might not get added into RHEL are first implemented and tested on Fedora. So we can say that Fedora and RHEL are in close relation with each other. This also makes it as one of the most exciting server distros available out there. You'll be able to check out all the latest features before anyone else if you are using Fedora server. However, it is a bleeding edge and Fedora server follows a short life cycle with each version supported only for 13 months and it does not have the LTS version. So it means after every 13 months, you have to upgrade your Fedora server. There are a lot of Linux users who are okay with this approach. And if you are one of them, Fedora is one of the most feature rich server distro out there. For example, you will be able to get the access to multiple package management tools out there right away, including DNF, YUM, package kit, RPM, etc. This distro also offers you different security levels for the users as it uses the Bellay Padola mandatory access model with enhanced security. If we talk about its feature, while well, it allows you to have the access to all the bleeding edge force technology, access to multiple package management tools, and it also uses the Bellay Padola mandatory access model for enhanced security. In terms of compatibility, it is compatible with a wide range of architectures that includes x86, PPC64 LE, S396, ARM64, and many more. Number 3. OpenSUSE While OpenSUSE is considered as one of the oldest and most used Linux distro that came into light back in 1993, since then it is still in use till date. That shows it has something to offer that other distros does not. When you download the OpenSUSE from its website, you get two flavors, Tumbleweed and Leap. Both are equally good in terms of functionality and features they offer. The only main difference is, is in the release cycle. 
Tumbleweed has a rolling release model that means update will get released more frequently and a lot of users prefer to go with this release cycle as it follows and offers a regular release model and that makes it perfect for both web servers and home servers. One of the biggest highlight of using open source is it has the access to Zyper package manager along with the control center that is known as Yast. Through Yast, it offers a granular control over almost all the aspect of the operating system and that makes it one of the best server distro for powerful users. If we talk about the downside, it can be that it only support x86-64 architecture. Although at the same time we have some unofficial support for other architectures like PPC 64 LE and Arc 64 and that gets supported by the surrounding community. In terms of its feature, well it is one of the oldest and most stable server distro and it has the access to most powerful tools like YAS control center, Kiwi and Zyper package manager. Other than that, it is compatible with only x86-64 officially. Number 4. Debian Stable Just like OpenSUSE, Debian is another one of the old timers that got released back in 1993 and it is still in use till date because it has the stability and reliability none like other Linux servers. As Debian is so robust, tons of other distros use Debian as their base, including a very prominent one like Ubuntu which gets used by the majority of the Linux users. Upon downloading, you will see that it is available in three branches. We have unstable, testing and stable one. As the name suggests, unstable and testing branches consist of those features and those packages that are not being thoroughly tested yet. So it is always recommended to go with the stable branch as it offers most reliable and bug free experience. It consists of only those packages that have gone through months of review in the testing release. But with that being said, despite of all the testing, Debian is not limited in terms of available software. On contrary, Debian gets shipped with over 59,000 packages with tools that are geared towards both type of users like beginners and advanced. Other than that, this server also supports many architecture in terms of the hardware like ARM64, power processors, IBM system, etc. If you talk about its feature, well, it is very easy to install and easy to upgrade. You will get over 59,000 packages including various tools that are efficient enough for both beginners and advanced users. And you will have a large and helpful community and you will also have well documented structure on the community pages. In terms of hardware compatibility, it is compatible with ARM64, Power Processor, IBM System Z, i386, MIPS and many more. Number 5. Oracle Linux Well, Oracle Linux is a Linux server distribution that is packaged and is distributed by Oracle. However, there is one thing that you should note and that is it is compiled from rel source code and few oracle software gets added on top of it. We have two different kernel options when we download it. A red hat compatible kernel and unbreakable enterprise kernel. Regardless of what option you choose to download, oracle linux offers you the complete application library compatibility with rel. The major benefit of going with other option is that you will get the extensive performance and scalability features that will help you with system memory management. Along with that, you will also have the option of having process scheduling, file organization and even network stacking. Both version of Oracle Linux gets used worldwide. They gets used from small to large scale enterprises. However, Oracle Linux gets used mostly in cloud-based data centers because of its OpenStack integration. Other than this, the server distro is designed to run on all x86-based architectures and hardwares. The company also offers the premium support, but obviously it is under a paid subscription. In terms of its feature, well, it gets compiled using the rel source code and you will get tons of tools and options to help you with memory management, file organization, process scheduling, etc. It is OpenStack integration and at the end, in terms of hardware support, 
It runs on all x86 based Oracle engineered systems. And that's it for this video. I hope now that now you have better understanding about best 5 Linux distro servers that you can find out there. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.